Hey everybody, welcome to my campsite tutorial. We're in my Let's Build world looking at a finished product of what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial. This isn't going to be a block by block tutorial, but instead I'll show you the techniques that I use so that you can create a custom campsite that fits your needs. The reason I wanted to make this video is because when I was making this campsite, I searched for tent and campsite designs online and there was a surprisingly lacking amount of good stuff. So let's head over to a new world where we can build another campsite together. To start off with, we're going to build the area that's going to be the floor for the fire pit. This is going to be one block down, set into the ground, and it's going to be your choice of ground materials. Here I have dirt, gravel, and a site. If you're really feeling like you want to mix it up, you could maybe mix in some soul sand in there, or you can maybe mix in some clay. I think clay would be a better option than soul sand to add another brown. Or you could even add path blocks. In this case, I'm going to keep it back to the way that I originally had it. However you do it, you're going to want this to be at the low point of where you're building. Here I kind of have it in a fairly flat area, but there are hills around. It's in the lowest point, but this way it makes you feel nice and immersed and surrounded by trees. The feeling that you like to get when you're camping. So the next thing is the actual fireplace itself. The way that I did it was a coal block and then I sort of added a rim like that out of just random placements of cobblestone slabs and stairs. Alternatively, if you, if you either have fire spread off or you are going to be more conscious about your wood placement, you can add some nether rack and some fire. I should mention that it doesn't really matter what shape that you make this pit, just know that whatever shape it is, you're going to have to work around it because your tents and your pathways are going to go around it. So it really doesn't matter what it is. You can make it an odd shape. I went with a circular shape kind of or an oval shape. You could make it hook off to one way. The next thing that I'm going to do, add some chairs. Not that tough. Right here I just use stairs and signs on the sides or even a slab for just something that you sit on. Now this is where things are going to get a little bit fun. This is my design for tents. As you can see, it's five long, six if you count this back part. You can do whatever you want with here. Uh, we'll get to that though. It's five long with stairs as the base of the tent. Then we're going to have two rows going up as wool on each side and then one on top here capped off with some wood. Put some legs down for the tent, just, you know, tent things. And then we're going to take these banners, same color as the wool, and switch it up for, if you have multiple tents, switch up how you have the banners. Have one like that, have one like that, and what this is supposed to look like is if the curtain was pulled over the entrance to the tent. You could even add a thing like that and put like that so it's really covering up. So if you're gonna walk up towards this, you actually feel like you have to push the tent aside to get into there. Then once, you're, once you've done that, you can mix up the inside of this with some coarse dirt, throw down a bed, uh, put down a chest. You won't be able to use these chests because there's a full block over it. Make sure to put a torch in here and that's gonna be the interior of your tent. Now for every tent that you have, you're gonna want a pathway up to it. This is probably gonna be the same materials that you've used for down here, whatever materials it was that you decide on. So let's add some stone and some coarse dirt and then we're gonna add some half slabs in this case, I'm using cobblestone slabs. No, I did not make them even. Make it look messy. This is a campsite. Not everything is, is drawn out or planned perfectly by whoever made it. Now we're going to add a little bit of a rim to the pit. You can use slabs. You could use walls even. Just something to hold in the walls of dirt up here from sliding in if you want to use your imagination. So that's the basic idea around making these campsites. They're really simple. You can use whatever materials you want. You can use different colors of wool and use different kinds of materials for the floors. I think what really makes these designs shine is the organic look, the centralized fire pit, and the curtains on the 
tents. So we're back in my Let's Build world where I've added a little bit more detail. This is the texture pack that everything was originally built in. You can see that I added some bushes, some leaves around here, put some fences. Just to give you an idea, here are different ways to set your curtains. See these three are all about the same except in different directions. These ones are different. Another thing that I think is important when you do these is have the tents at different elevations. That one's higher up and it adds a interesting dynamic to the whole thing that they aren't all the same height, the same distance away from you. So that's my little tutorial for those of you that are like me and maybe looking for a way to spruce up the outside of your towns that you build. Thank you for watching everybody. If you have any ideas for your own campsites that you like to do, let me know in the comments. Remember, if you like this video, then leave a like and subscribe and check out my other detail videos and maybe my Let's Build series. Thanks everybody. Bye.